idea. What do you want, Edward? I need your advice about something this girl at school figured out I'm a vampire. How did that happen? Did you find your death certificate? An old diary, perhaps? I took her to dinner and told her I'm psychic. Edward, if you do not want the living to figure out you are the undead, you must keep your distance from them. Okay, but how do I shut it down? I mean, we can't be friends, we can't date. Is this a high school student? Yes. Of course you can't date, you're 107 years old. I know you have experience in matters like this. What can I say to scare her off? <sighs> FaceTime me. You must tell her you're a monster. I'm a monster. That was terrible. You must look her dead into the eye, staring into her soul, and say, I am a monster. I'm a monster. Edward, you have to mean it. I do mean it. Then why do you sound like you're whining? I'm just so nervous about talking to Bella at school tomorrow. She's a very determined woman. She's 17. She's not a woman. Right. But is there anything more I could do? You're going to have to kill someone in front of her. What? No. Fine, then kill an elk. Something visceral. Something real. Why would I do that? She is infatuated with the fantasy of a vampire. You have to confront her with the reality. I could break a tree and run around really fast. Well, that just shows off your interesting physical abilities. I could stand in the sun. Undo the sparkle thing? Yeah. That's not going to work either. I'll tell her I've killed people before. That presents you as a bad boy and makes you even more exciting. You have to actually kill someone. And you've done this. Yes. How did it work out? In the short term, it worked very well. And long term? My love, who are you talking to? 